Why shouldn't I work for the NSA? That's a tough one, but I'll take a shot. Let's say I'm working at the NSA and somebody puts a code on my desk, something nobody else can break. Maybe I take a shot at it, maybe I break it. And I'm feeling happy about myself because I did a good job. But maybe that code's the location of some rebel army in North Africa or the Middle East. And once they get that location, they're gonna bomb the village where the rebels are hiding. 1,500 people that I never met, didn't do anything against me, get killed. Now the politicians are saying, well, sending the Marines to secure the area. They don't give a shit. Because it won't be one of their kids going over there getting shot. Just like it wasn't them when their number got called because they were pulling a fucking tour on the National Guard. It'll be some kid from Southie getting shrapnel up his ass. And then when he comes back, he realizes that the plant he used to work at got exported to the country he just got back from. And the guy who put the shrapnel up his ass, he's got his old job because he'll work for 15 cents a day and no bathroom breaks. Meanwhile, he realizes that, well, the only reason why we're over there is so we can install a government to sell us oil at a good price. And of course, the oil companies use that little skirmish over there to scare up domestic oil prices. A cute little ancillary benefit for them, but it helped my buddy at 250 a gallon. And of course, they take the sweet time bringing back the oil. And maybe they even take the liberty of hiring an alcoholic skipper who likes to drink martinis and play fucking slalom with the icebergs. Eventually, it's one, spills the oil, and kills all the sea life in the North Atlantic. So now my buddy's out of a job. He can't afford to drive. He's got to walk to fucking interviews, which sucks because the shrapnel in his ass is causing chronic hemorrhoids. He's also starving because every time he tries to get a bite, the only blue plate special to serve in his North Atlantic squad, the Quake State. So what do I think? I think I'm holding out for something better. I figure, fuck it. While I'm at it, I might as well just shoot my buddy, take his job, give it to a sworn enemy, hike up gas prices, bomb a village, club a baby seal, hit the hash pipe, and join the National Guard. I could be elected president.